Hey, it's Chrissy Lulu. So welcome to another edition of Art Supply Sundays. And today I wanted to finish off my basic eraser little series with the last kind of erasers. So these are your pink gum erasers. As you can see, they're just your typical school erasers. These are probably the most common erasers that you see. They're everywhere. Um, as you can see, they're the little fun erasers that you get, like I got this one as a prize. <laughs> um, they're the fun, like giant eraser caps that you get on uh, novelty pencils, novelty erasers, typical uh, eraser cap. So yeah, they do pretty much your basic job of erasing. They produce a lot of shavings, but um, they do a very good job at getting rid of stuff. So yeah, let's get right into it. Let's demonstrate what these bad boys can do.
unclear in this picture but um i did another just kind of mock-up of the lights and darks on the face sorry my light's kind of reflecting off of it a bit but um hopefully you can see it just fine um it's a bit messy i'm sure there's some anatomical anatomical issues with it and everything but I just kind of wanted to do a little quick demonstration of stuff you can do with erasers um, using erase out techniques I think are very helpful um, it's a really interesting way in like to see how lights and darks interact sometimes looking at the negative can help you understand the positive more um, I just did a big piece actually recently for my school where I did, I worked mainly in the lights. Um, the paper was black and I was drawing my black lab um, and I had to work in the negative to um, get the picture out. So yeah, um, that's just a little example. I'm sorry, that's not in this video. That didn't really... <laughs> That didn't um, involve erasers much, but um, that's just a little example of stuff that you can do with erasers. Erase outs can be very interesting. You can get really cool results. Um, they can often look very abstractive when, er, ex abstracted when you're working in the negatives rather than the positives, but um, I think you can get some really cool effects by trying stuff like this out. Um, I think it can be really helpful, again. <laughs> I'm saying this again, um, in understanding how lighting works, which is very important if you're going to draw anything, if you're going to weave out and draw your, your animal girls, <laughs> um, understanding how lights play on the face and play on the body can be very important. Um, but yeah, I also demonstrated a little technique that I don't think I've included in my other eraser videos where I just smudged the graphite here to kind of darken the lights a bit. So it's just kind of moving around graphite, which can be also very helpful. Um, it can also kind of be a bit of a deterrent if you are like me and you're always dragging your hands all over your piece and then you end up with graphite on both your hands all the way down to your elbows this is typically what happens to me in my art classes so being able to move graphite around can be both very helpful and very frustrating at times so I hope you at least kind of enjoyed this little series I hope you enjoyed learning about types of erasers. Wow, it sounds so boring, but I just find it so interesting. So I hope you find found it interesting. I've got one special eraser video to add on to this little collection, and that will be coming up soon. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, 
comment, like, subscribe, do all the good stuff. Tell your friends about me. It'll help a lot. Okay, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye!